Uh, when are y'all gonna call this hound dog off of Zion? If if a man was doing a woman like this to the point to where this woman is now comp contemplating suicide or saying little cryptic messages on the internet, acting like they want to end it all, uh, all, all the women, all, all the men would be like, like God damn it, enough is enough. Why are, they, why are everybody letting this crazy lady do this to Zion? Now, Zion, I don't know what the hell you done done to this lady. Uh, it could be crazy, but I think you got bad picks. In the, but still, nevertheless, I don't think you should be going through all of this for messing with the wrong type of woman. And let this be a lesson to all the young men out there. Hell, even the old men. The wrong type of woman. Boy, look at here. <laughs> that 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 thirty minutes, an hour, whatever you think is is, is you got you working with whatever you think it is. Twenty minutes, ten minutes, nigga, it ain't it ain't worth it. Now, is it worth this woman acting the NBA? And then she's such a stupid trick. You got to at least be a smart trick. You supposed to be doing all. You supposed to be threatening this nigga behind the scenes with all this. You can see. Zion, not only did you mess with gutter trash, you mess with a girl that don't even know how to think. How in the world is you keep telling the league to put them out and then you try to turn around and sue them? That is the dumbest thing you could ever do. You supposed to be letting this nigga get his bag and then behind the scenes doing the money dance like, nigga, I'm gonna come out with this evidence. You telling everything now? We, ain't nobody gonna give a damn. He's gonna have no reason to pay you. This is how stupid you are. He's gonna have no reason to pay you because you done told every damn thing. You out here running your mouth for social media, getting clout, and people, this is what I mean. Y'all are making bad behavior the most popular thing in the world. No one gives a damn that you fucked Zion. I know I don't. Why do so many people get caught up in celebrities? Oh my God, you had sex with Zion? Oh my God, let's make her an influencer. Let's make her a celebrity so other little girls can go out and do the same thing. Get balls stuck all in your mouth. I'm talking about basketballs. You know. <laughs> Go around sleeping with different men and then bragging to the internet that you're getting cum shouted on. Like, this is corny. This is what we want to teach young girls. This young lady should have been barred from the media. This is the stupidest shit in the world. What if she influenced somebody's black daughter to now go and sleep with another athlete, unprotected, unmarried, no future, begging for money, and then now all black girls are doing that because this girl is seeming like this is the thing to do. I know I don't want my black daughter doing that shit. This is ridiculous at this point. No, we shouldn't be lifting girls up on pedestals just because they get some dick. It don't matter if it's a celebrity penis or not. It's just penis. It's stupid. You got fucked, go away. You the dummy that's telling everybody that a man gave you 60 something thousand dollars. Do you think all these girls care? You just made Zion coochie rate go up. If people know that Zion is giving out $60,000 a month, don't you think they gonna cut better deals than you? They gonna say, Zion, look here, that bitch was dumb. You give me 30 and I ain't gonna never say nothing. Give me 30 a month, I'll sign, let me show you how to do it. It's gonna be a girl that coached Zion up. It's gonna be a female. She gonna go to Zion and say, hey, look here, you were giving that one girl 60 and she was ugly as hell. Buy me a car, put me in an apartment. I'll take all that you was offering and give me thirty-five thousand a month. Don't I ain't gonna tell nobody. I'll sign this thing right here, and this thing gonna make me be able to shut up. All you doing is helping that boy. But Zion, right now you in the media, but you gotta own some shit. Now I don't wanna hear this crybaby shit talking about you wanna key yourself with all this, this cryptic message. You are a professional athlete. That means you can dig deeper than most people. You're fucked up. Come out and take your lick. Yes, I paid her. Yes, I've made a mistake. Hell, and now I'm gonna pay these girls in the right way. Own your shit. It ain't nothing for you to hurt yourself over. Own your shit. You a young man. It's plenty of people that do with the same thing that you do. Hell, some of the owners that pay you do the same shit you did. Don't look at it like you gotta end your damn life. All these old ass men paying for sex. You a young man out here in the streets and your shit just hit the media. Now own your shit and nobody can pick on you about it. Yeah, I paid her, and I'll pay you too. Come on, girl. What's up? But you got to get your ass in shape, though. See, you can't have all these things going on at one time. You can't be off 
the court out of shape, heavy as hell, with a girl uh, slandering your name in the media. All those things can't happen. And it ain't the it ain't LeBron's responsibility to get you in shape. I heard what you said on the uh, on the podcast with Gilbert Arenas. Oh, LeBron got the plan. No, Zion better get a goddamn plan. Fuck what LeBron got. That's his plan. You need to take accountability for the things that you're doing and get your shit in order and be a constant professional. And if you want to pay the late, then goddamn it, be a boss while you're paying the late. Ain't no way in the hell I'm giving a girl $60,000 a month and she's saying anything about me nowhere because she don't want that money to stop. You giving the girl what she wants. That's more than a motherfucker make that go to college and get three four degrees. You giving this woman this for sex that she gonna have anyway. So you don't think you can buy her silence? You need to fire your whole team from around you because all your team got to be some dumb, pray too much, don't know how to think motherfuckers. Because you got to get up off your ass and think. I would have lawyered up the first day. You got 200 something million dollars. The first day she would have said my name on TV. She would have had the baddest lawyer that the money can buy. Call her phone. And call everybody she know phone. You got money to buy Twinkies and buy cars and shit. Fuck that Zion. You got to protect your bag. I'm about through talking to you. Because... I don't know who the hell taught you how to think. All this, they're young kids, fuck all that. I went to the league 18, 19 years old. I was a teenager. And I ain't make these dumbass goddamn mistakes. So I don't make, don't make no excuse for a kid to go to Duke and got two years of experience in the NBA. There's no excuse for this. You should know better. 60,000 a goddamn month and you can't get no respect. Come on now. But I'm not going to do the crybaby party with you while you're trying to get some sympathy. No, sir. Man up. You ain't want no sympathy when you were drilling that girl. So own your shit and man up and move on. You better be in the gym more than you in them girls. You better be doing everything that team telling you to do. Because your next contract is on the line, buddy. Trust me, your next contract is on the line. I think you're a hell of a talented player. You're just focused on the wrong things. And if you don't change your focus, it's over. And I know, I know, I know what he's thinking. Oh, I got 200 something million dollars. I got all the money I need. I got everything I need and I don't need nothing else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Keep thinking that. Keep thinking that. A couple situations with these girls that you having, a couple child support cases, <laughs> A couple, a couple doodads, and, and buddy, yes, Lord, you can have a world of issues. But hey, that's my time. That's my time. I'm up out of this thing. Y'all have a blessed day, man. This thing probably about to start chopping up even more. I don't know how much y'all got to hear.